Okay, let's take a look at today's uh, GED question of the day. It says, find the perimeter of the shape below. Now, if you've been watching the videos lately, then you probably know how to find a perimeter by definition. Um, the definition of a perimeter, the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. Um, and if you do, the more power to you. That's a great way to do this. There's nothing wrong with doing this by definition. But what I'm in the middle of right now is working towards using that GED formula sheet. I want you guys to be experts on the GED formula sheet before you go into test. It's a really big help. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the formula um, in order to find the perimeter of the shape, even though it's not necessarily the easiest way. Um, I want to build your formula using skills. Okay, so first of all, what are we finding? We're finding perimeter. And it just says of the shape below, and I want you to be a little cautious with that because when students look at this shape right here, they often automatically tell me, Kate, that's a square. And um, although I agree with you that it does look like a square, this is not a square. And the way I know that is because the two sides right here, this side and this side, have different lengths. If, they, if this was a square, they would have the same length. And so this must instead be a rectangle. Okay, so this is a rectangle. It's a four-sided shape with 90 degree angles, uh, but my two sides are not necessarily the same length. Um, and so I am going to go to my GED formula sheet here. And here it is. I just Googled it on the internet. That's how I got it. But this is the official GED formula sheet uh, that you will have uh, when you go to take your GED test. And you can see right here the first section of the formula sheet gives you the area formulas. Uh, but the second section here has the perimeter formulas and we can see there's the perimeter of a and careful we don't want a square that was not a square we're going to take the perimeter of a rectangle formula perimeter of a rectangle and there's the formula and this might look like a long confusing formula but it'll actually be really simple for us so this is the first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to write down the formula just exactly the way i see it um, and that's a really good wise first step for every student just write down the formula exactly the way you see it so let's go do that uh, pull up my facebook here okay so the formula that we saw on the formula sheet is P equals uh, 2 L, that was an L, plus 2 W, okay? And one way to read this is to find the perimeter of a rectangle, multiply the length by 2, multiply the width by 2, and add together. Add those two together, and that's what that says. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay, before we can do this math, we have to plug in the numbers that we know. And so let's go ahead and do that. We don't know the perimeter, that's what we're finding, so it will remain P. You never change symbols, so my equal sign will stay an equal sign. Okay, and you never change numbers, so my two will stay a two. Uh, but you can change these letters. In fact, these letters are called variables for just that reason. To vary means to change. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this variable. I'm going to substitute out the letter for the number that I know it is. And so I'm going to come over here and you, say, you might say, well, which one of these is the length? And it really doesn't matter with a rectangle. Length and width are interchangeable. So I'll call this the length, 4.3, and I'm going to plug it in here. Now, be really careful because this is what students do. They just write 4.3 right there, and they go, oh, I plugged it in. Be careful, right now you've just turned 2 times L, when these two things are shoved together, they're multiplying, into 24.3. Um, it's important to put some kind of a symbol for multiplication so you can tell those two things need to multiply. So I'm going to use parentheses um, to mean 2 times 4.3. Now I'll keep my plus sign, and see how I'm just dropping down from up top? I'm going to keep my 2, keep my 2, but I'm going to substitute out my W. I don't have to call WW anymore. He's not a mystery. I know what the width is. The width is 5.7. And so once again, I'm going to plug in that 5.7 using my parentheses to mean multiply. Great. Now that you have your substitution done, you plugged in the uh, values that you know, you can just start simplifying. You can start doing the math here. And remember with your order of operations uh, that you should do multiplication before you do addition. So I'm going to multiply these two uh, first. So I'll do 2 times 4.3 and that will be 8.6. I'll leave my addition for last. 
and I'm going to do 2 times 5.7. Let's see, I think that would be 11.4. You should check me in your calculators, though, y'all. I love to make mistakes uh, when I'm rushing. And then I need Y students to tell me I'm wrong here. Now I'm going to do my addition, 8.6 plus 11.4, and I get 20. Now, the question is 20 what? Well, remember that perimeter is a linear measurement. It's a line around the outside. And so we're going to use linear, plain, old, regular measurements. And so this will be 20 meters, uh, not square meters. That's area, not cubic meters. That's volume. Perimeter is just a linear measurement, a line measurement. And so it's just plain, old, 20 meters. Great. If you have any uh, questions about this problem, go ahead and drop it in the comments.